Hey guys, welcome back to our live reaction for Overlord Season 3, Episode 3. I'm Helsa and joining me is Caddy. Hi. Alright, let's start in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, we're in the village of goblins and people. You're talking about the tomb of Nazarek, right? I think it's... I don't think it's the tomb. I think it's the... It's the, the outpost made by... Uh, the people from the tomb of Nazarek. So the fake one. Uh, the, how do you know each other? What? Maybe the maid visited them sometime. Huh. It's been two seasons after all. So I really want to see fix him again. Where is that thing? I don't even see him in the opening this time around, did we? Yep. Not in the opening. But then again, the penguin guy is not even in the opening. Which one? The penguin thing. Yeah, I guess. I still don't get why this giant tentacle mouth thing is out of... It's been shown in the poster, in the poster. for this season, and it's been shown in the opening again, so... Is that like his ultimate spell or something? Maybe he's, it's just his uh, great summon or something. Yeah, maybe. I, like I, I assume season, we'll see it sometime later in the season then. Yep, like in the first season, he's summoning skulls, skeletons. Mm, true. Oh my god, I cannot see the, the title! No, me neither. What? <laughs> Someone's gotta loot mine. You read too much hentai. She's just got that really, really good. Yeah, uh, it kind of reminds me like several months ago. Suddenly, goblins become very popular, and then there are a lot of books about it. With goblins, you sure it's not orcs? Wait, so the big one are not goblins? Yeah, they're goblins. Then why is he so amazed that there is goblin here? Well. So what's their name again? I forget. I don't remember any of them. Just three. I'm disappointed. What happened to the North, man? Oh, we've seen that one then. That's uh, hamster. Oh, the hamster? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure the Monument of Ruin is the the thing they made for the outpost for subjugating the lizard village, right? Yeah, it could be. So are we going to see some dungeon raid? I mean, Tomb of Nazarek is dungeon, but we haven't seen any any rate and it's been almost uh, it's been three seasons i don't think it'll work out the way you think the rate would go i mean to put this way right uh the guardian of the first the third floor is shout here i don't think anyone in this world unless they're also players could like even go through the third floor yeah there could be strong people here like every lie everybody is strong I don't know if it's a C is stronger than what's the name again, Saltia. Yeah, but like, 
a raid is usually like depending on the game it's like 20 to 40 people yeah that's it. So. like in this story it was uh, said that the party that is to raid some of Nazareth to the deepest uh deepest floor uh, i think it's 100 300 or something i think no one made it to, to yeah and they made it but they the didn't clear it dungeon, so. they made it but they didn't clear it it's the final well, but actually it's because of victim yeah yeah for victim victim op wait victim is getting a fifth floor right so they don't make it i guess I remember the victim was eight five was top okay eight then I was Kokitas, I think. Yep, and then you watch the previous episode, he's pretty buff. Wow. Is Lupis Regina the maid? Yep. And you can tell her real form by her name. Werewolf. I assume so. Who's the kid? Her sister? Oh, Jigam! You game, you game. It's very lonely. What? Yeah, goblins. How did you capture ogres? What? These are ogres? They look like trolls. Well, trolls are... Trolls are depicted differently depending on the fantasy, so... Mm -hmm. But goblins, usually they're like this. No, sometimes it's different too. Some yeah, fantasy sometimes. puts goblins looking more like imps. And they're even smaller. Here, the goblins are like almost orcs. They, they look like almost short orcs goblin. here. You see goblins of a hair. So yeah, these goblins are summoned by Momon, right? In the first, uh, in the second episode. Yeah, but I don't remember them summoning that much in the first place. I thought they summoned like yeah, four and I thought he summoned more than just goblins. Oh wait, never mind. He just summoned goblin. There is another raiding party consisting of monster other than goblin. Dude. Wing wing. <laughs> yeah. Why did we skip to Momon just now? I think it's the reference to what you just said. Burn the witch!
gut. Quality man. So this mage is a prick. Yeah, this is a bit. Why are you here? Don't you recognize the armor? All oh, right, yeah, that they also melt, right? Sure. <laughs> Wow, that's that easy? And then Momo disappears into thin air. Oh my god, it's bad! He's gonna get attacked! I mean, fly. What's going on? I think it's because Momon doesn't want to talk to her directly or something. Man, the carriage is very tall. The carriage? Yeah, those are usually pretty tall, but like... I think it's like a meter above ground ish, usually. Ah, how convenient. Don't we have one right around here? Right? Then you get subsidized. Oh. A few thousand gold. I bet. Yeah, you're gonna have to sell that horn to cover the cost. Oh my god, who the fuck? Oh, I thought someone was trying to steal that. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Did Narbera talk to her or something? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> talk, quotation mark.
Wait, who's the leader again? Uh, that, that I don't I think his right. name is pretty long. I, I, I don't know. Jashin? Something like that. Ah, there you go, that one. Kai ah, no, Kai wait. Kaijali? Really? Yeah, I think it's Kaijali. Oh, nice. It Kukri sort of sword. looked like a Kukri sword, except it doesn't bend. So, are all those masterworks? Yeah. Oh, please. By the way, do you think this would be like an interesting game? Mm -hmm. By the way, you don't you didn't sell the horn, right? I don't think they I don't think she did. By the way, don't you think like if this was a game, so you have to like uh manage your village, as in you get money for your village, you get whatever monsters or mercenaries as troops to guard your village and then you have to buy equipments by by selling the things you gather for equipments for the monsters mercenaries hey, what's village. that's what's happening here that would have been like interesting as a game <laughs> then if you're strong enough it'll become the tomb of nazarik It took years for them to build the tomb of Nazareth. I guess, but like that's that's at the end goal, sort of. What's going on? Hey, why is Lupus Regina coming, come and go to this place? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask when she first showed up. I mean, once it's okay, but now again. You mean like two people get together with gun? You're done? Wow. Well, to be fair, I don't think she's the smartest of them all. Ouch. Wow. That's awfully specific. Well, I guess the villagers are really that incompetent. Well, I think it's because the people in this village are still, like, very narrow-minded. Also, I wonder if the boy's grandma is still alive. The one in the town? I, I assume so. Also, I was a little excited when new season start, but yeah. But from season one, we barely see Momon again. I, I said from episode one, I mean. Momon? Or. Oh. You mean like this season? Yes. I don't mind it too much. Is it going to be like second season again? I don't think so. And then, uh, like for half of the season, he's absent, and then all his time. Not really. Like in second season, he barely gets screen time, right? Yeah, after half of the season, he gets screen time finally. Yeah, but even then, it wasn't that much. But 
I think that's fine, because we already know he's OP anyway, so why bother looking at him doing the action? Yeah, it's like watching One Punch Man. The one doing the fighting, not, not the main character. Exactly. The moment Saitama actually shows up, it gets boring, because he just punches someone, and then and the fight's over. Yeah, this is why the first season is like way too much. Because Saltyar is a real threat, Moon. And after that, yeah. nothing else. Well, maybe if Demir decide to betray him, but I don't think he'll betray him yet. I think anyone in uh, Nazarek would betray him. Unless they are mind controlled, like Shaltier was. So, what are the chances Andrew is gonna die by the end of the season? Well, she's commissioning the gold, uh, the adamantium plate, or the adamantium plate. Right? So she's not nah, gonna die. I feel like she'll be she'll be murdered by the villagers. <laughs> Put it this what? way, right? If you've lived your whole life in a small village and you're always afraid of monsters, and then suddenly a girl shows up to your village leading an army of monsters, would you be afraid of her? <laughs> uh, who is she lead Where is she leading her army to? No, she's just living there on the village. But, like, she's a newcomer, right? She didn't start in the village. And then she joined with an army, and now she wants to become leader, sort of. Oh, she didn't want to, out of like... It's, she sort of forced to the position, I guess. Yeah, like, so what? So the people will be afraid! No, no, no. no, no I'm talking about Lubus Regina. Ah, this, like, yeah. a new leader was born, but so what? Oh, okay. Wow. Wait, you're gonna... Wow. Ah. Okay. But you're supposed to be a nice person. Yeah, I thought so too. Does that mean they'll attack this village next? Nah, no way. The village is like... Lord Ein Sama pet project, so I don't think they will dare attack the village. I guess. Also, oh, no, what are the lizard the... men doing again? Sorry? What are the lizard men doing again? The yeah. lizard people? They're just being controlled, and for some reason, the two leaders are in Tomb of Nazarek with the elf traps for some reason? I don't yeah. know. Like, we haven't seen their village again ever since they were subjugated, so I have no idea what the fuck they're doing at the moment. I think Akaitis was doing an experiment of controlling them or something. But what what intrigued me this episode was... Uh, they mentioned the Monument of Ruin, and then how the other two lords are going to attack the Monument of Ruin. Huh? Uh... No, I want to see, because, like, I want to see the other two lords. We've seen one of them, Hamusuke, and that Yeah, like, that's the like... point, man. The lord is going to be in Hamusuke lab. They won't be a threat. Yeah, but they'll have an army. I want to see the army. Mm, is right. it like... Is like it an like... army can help with anything. One magic spell, they're gone. Yeah, sure, but, like, the... usually... Usually, usually Momon goes with like a fair fight unless he feels like he just has to do it himself. Like uh, with the Lizardman, as in like in the in the season two, when the Lizardman fought, he was like, "All right, what if they're bringing an army? We'll just fight them with that. Kokaitis, go lead these skeletons and whatever, right?" So that might be interesting. I think here it'll be like uh, the two lords try to recruit the village, and then the village will say no, and then they'll fight. Okay. That's and then at the last second, uh, uh, Momon probably shows up and go like, ah, piss off everyone, I'll save the day, etc. 
I assure you. I'm more interested in seeing Gilgamesh, right? I sort of want to know, but I'm pretty sure that will be like in the second half of the season at least. Although, it can be like that queen from last season. She does nothing. The princess? Yeah, the princess. Actually, yeah. she does something. It's not, a, it's not available in that season, so we don't know what she is doing. She, she did do something, but it was like she made... She's someone in power on the kingdom, and then she made a deal with the prince? Yeah, work? that's it. We don't know what's the effect of the deal. Not yet, but we know they made a shady deal. And I think, uh, I, I'm pretty sure she's a psychotic one. <laughs> but we just haven't seen the full effect of that thing yet. I'm pretty sure they'll show up again because we saw them, her and the the people she made shady deals with in the opening. So, Wait, do we see her? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we saw her in the opening. No, okay, I, uh, I just remember seeing the her knight and that uh, samurai guy. Nah, I'm pretty sure we did. Okay. Let's watch your next, epi- next episode. Then. What the hell was it? Ah, there you go. Uh, one... One eighteen. You'll see them all. Like, it's even okay. got the king, I think. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll see them, and... I think after this part is done, we'll go deal with the kingdom part again, and then we'll see Gilgamesh then. So yeah, looking forward to that. Anyway, that's enough random rant for a while. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.